Hello again, everyone. Welcome to part two of using the Gmail app. In the first video, which is already available on the Putnam County District Library Facebook and YouTube pages, we covered downloading the app, creating a Gmail account, and sending an email. If those are steps you still need to complete or need help with, I suggest hopping over to that video first to cover that information. Then you can come back to this one after you feel comfortable with all those tasks. Which brings me to what are we covering today? We're going to review how to reply to an email because we covered that briefly in the first video, but I want to review it. So replying to an email, email forwarding, attachments, and drafts. There will be a part three available next month, which will cover Gmail's preset email folders, spam, trash, deleting emails, creating your own folders, amongst other tips. So without further ado, let's continue learning how to use the Gmail app. So the first thing I want to cover with you today is reviewing how to send a reply message. Just a reminder, this is when you want to send a response to someone who has already sent you an email. I mentioned it very briefly in the first video, so I wanna go over it again. Here we go. Okay, so we're back in our primary email inbox here, um, and it looks like we actually have an email uh, to open up. So I sent this to us um, just a second ago so we could practice checking a brand new email. So you can see the text is in bold. Me um, is who it's from. And test is the name or the title of the email. So we're gonna open this new email up and we're going to reply to it. So I'm gonna click on it to open it up and read it. So from me to me, this email is a test, is the body of the email. And there's my little signature Addy. So to reply, you have two options. At the very bottom of the page, um, you can see there is the bottom left, it says reply with a little back arrow. So you can press on that to reply. You can also, if you look up at the top where the brown circle is with the A in it on the top left, if you scan to the right, you can see that same backward left facing arrow. That also means reply. So whichever you find to be easier, I'm gonna do the one at the top right of the screen so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna hit that little arrow and it opens up a reply. <clears throat> for us to send a reply back to whoever sent us the initial email. So you can see here in the title of the email it now says RE colon test. So that's letting us and the person receiving this know that this is a reply to the original test email. So it has RE colon test, which lets us know this is a reply to test. So we can just say real quick, yes, it worked. Should put a comma in here, yes, it worked. And we're gonna sign off. Addy, and to to send your reply email, you're just gonna hit that same little um, arrow pointing to the right that is blue in the top right corner. So we are going to now send our reply, hitting that arrow. And at the bottom it says, there's a black bar that says sent. So we're gonna hit the back arrow at the top left and we're gonna see, look, there is our reply in bold again. This is a brand new email to us. Um, <laughs> because of course we're sending and replying back and forth to ourselves. So we can see that there is our reply. So the original email that was sent at 11.06, this email is a test, is at the top. The most current reply email is underneath at the bottom. So we can see at 11.08, we sent our response of yes, it worked. And then if I hit those three dots, there's my little sign off. And the original email gets carried back and forth with the replies. Okay, so if you reply back and forth with somebody, all your original email is in there. You can go in and delete it, but it will automatically send it back and forth um, with the additional text that you are replying. So that is replying to an email. So now we've gone over how to reply to an email. What if we want to pass an email on to someone else? This is when we employ the feature called forwarding, email forwarding or to forward an email. It takes the original body of the email and all the info attached to it and passes it on to whomever you send the forwarded message to. So instead of hitting reply, we're gonna hit forward and then we're gonna send the whole email to somebody else. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we're gonna forward an email. We're gonna just forward this one from 11.08 a.m. here, the one that was the tester email we just talked about. So I'm gonna click on this email. So here is the original and the reply. Okay, in the same way that you have two options for replying, you have two ways to forward. 
The first is to look at the bottom right of your screen where it says forward with an arrow pointing to the right. You can click on that little button and that will allow you to forward. The other option is to go up where the second A is where it says me 1108 to me, yes it worked, that was my reply. Um, we're gonna actually go to the right beyond the reply button and click on those three little dots to the right. And the second option here is forward. So like I said, you can do either option, the bottom, the button at the bottom right or the button that is contained within those three dots. Okay, so then we have the very first line, we have our blinking cursor, that's who we're gonna forward the message to. So I actually created another email address just for this uh, task. So it's called PCDL Tester 2. I'm really thinking here, being very creative with my, um, oops, Gmail, there we go being very creative with my uh, email names here. So we have the two is going to be to PCDL tester number two from PCDL tester one, that's us. And then the title of the email is FWD, which stands for forward colon test. So in the same way that reply indicated this, that this was a reply message, this is FWD is indicating that this is a forward. So we're just gonna put a little message in here, wanted to pass this along we can swipe right and autofill that uh, the end of that phrase in to you and then we'll do our sign off so that is what what i'm highlighting here is what we have just written won't well, let me move that guy down it's what we've just written here so if you scroll down beyond that the original message is there and the reply and now what we're gonna forward, um, include in our forward, which is the new stuff. So we have the original, this email is a test down at the bottom, and then the middle of the email is the reply, and then it has these dashes, forwarded message. So it's letting us know that everything underneath that forwarded message line is what's included in the forwarded message. So that's all we have to do to forward. We just have to hit that blue arrow that points to the right, and that's gonna forward it on to PCDL tester two. So somebody brand new that we want to share this whole email and reply to. So I'm gonna hit that blue arrow and it says down at the bottom, there's that black bar that says we sent it. Now, of course, it's not gonna show up in here in our email uh, inbox, in our primary inbox, because we didn't send it to ourselves. We didn't reply, we forwarded it on to somebody else. So that is email forwarding. Okay, covering lots of ground today, aren't we? So next up, let's say we want to send an email with a picture or a file attached to it. We want to send an email with an attachment. It's what they call it, an attachment. And I'm gonna show you how to do that next. Okay, to send an attachment, we're going to begin again in our primary inbox here in Gmail, and we're gonna go down to the bottom right corner of the screen where it says compose, that little compose button. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna start a brand new email. Um, got it. Okay, so we're gonna send this to this one to ourselves so that we can see what an attachment looks like when we receive it. So we're gonna do PCDL tester one. So we are sending it to PCDL tester one from PCDL tester one so that we can see our own email. And this is going to be, we're gonna call it, our title is gonna be attachment practice. Autocorrect is saving me there. And then to attach something to an email, we're gonna look at the very top of our email screen to the right-hand side, there's something that looks like a little paper clip. It's to the left of the send button, that blue arrow. To the left of that is our little paper clip to attach. We're gonna click on that. Okay, the very first time you do this, Gmail asks for access to your photos. If you want to send photos, um, from your device, you're gonna have to grant access. Um, so you can choose, you can you can pick select photos and only allow it to see certain photos, or you can click on allow access to all photos. That's what I'm gonna click on today. So once I click on that, then it's gonna let me see the photos down there in the bottom that I have on this device. It also is gonna allow you to see attachments if there were things that are more like, whoops, things that are more like, uh, you know, Word documents, things that are documents versus photos. So anyway, we're gonna attach a photo. We're just gonna attach this first photo I have here, coming back from the basketball game, um, the billboard. And so you can see I clicked on the photo I wanted to attach and it showed it right, now it shows it right in the body of the email. 
If you have a document that you are attaching, it is not going to show up in the body of the email this way. It's gonna be a little link at the bottom of the email. So photos, as long as you only have one or two or maybe three, it's actually gonna send them right in the body of the email. There is a size limit to what you can send. Um, it will tell you if you have reached it. Uh, so usually I think two or three photos is all it will allow before it says it's just too big to send. So just keep that in mind. So I've chosen a photo from my little list and I'm gonna send it as an attachment. So I'm gonna click on that blue arrow at the top right that means send. And it has already shown up back. It says sent there. There's our black bar across the bottom that says sent. And it has already sent it to us. It shows up in our primary. And you can see there is an attachment because it has a little oval with a little red box. It kind of looks like a picture. And then what that attachment is called, which in this case is an image 8470. So if I click on that email to open it up, there is my attached photo. Okay, so that is how you send a photo um, or a document attached to an email. Okay, next up, drafts. What if you start an email and you don't have time to finish it? Well, as long as you've typed something, AKA edited something from the original email, Gmail will automatically save your draft. That is your email before you hit send. Even if you just hit the space bar a few times and then close the compose box, Gmail will save your draft. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick and then we're gonna look for our drafts so you can go back and find them um, once they've been saved. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we are back in our primary uh, email inbox for our email address and we're gonna do a draft. So once again, drafts are so sort of like um, adding attachments that you can do, you can save a draft of an original email, you can save a draft of a reply, um, and I think you can save a draft of a forward, I believe. So it doesn't matter what kind of email you're trying to send, you can always save a draft of it, I believe. So we're gonna start a fresh new email. We're gonna hit, just for more practice, bottom right corner, we're gonna click on compose. So let's say I'm at the doctor's office and I'm trying to write an email and I realize my name gets called and I don't have time to finish it. So I haven't typed hardly anything in here. You can see there's no nothing in the two line yet. There's nothing in the subject. I'm just gonna go down into where it says compose email and write, hello, I am writing you. And this is as far as I get before they call my name in the doctor's office. I don't wanna start over. I haven't done that much yet, but I, I just don't wanna start over yet. I'm just gonna hit that little X in the top left corner. Down at the bottom, you can see that little black bar showed up that says draft saved, okay? So it saved that. Even though we barely got anything typed out yet, it's already saved that draft automatically. So how do I go back and find that draft? So we're gonna be at the top of the screen again. On the top left corner, you're gonna see three lines on top of each other. We're gonna press on that. These are, this, these are all the inboxes and folders that you have for this Gmail account. So we're gonna scroll up a little bit. This is a bar that can scroll up and down. We're gonna scroll up a little bit and we're gonna find the one that says drafts. It's about four up from that little dash line. Um, it's right here. So we're gonna open our drafts and there it is. There's that draft I started at 9.44 a.m. There's no subject and there's the body that I have started typing already. All of your saved drafts, so we're not gonna, we're gonna, not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna hit that little X again and it's just gonna be saved right where it is. So all of your drafts that you have ever started are gonna be in that drafts folder. So it's the three lines at the top left. And then these are all of the folders in your Gmail, your Gmail account. And we're just gonna go all the way down to the one that says drafts, click on it and your drafts are gonna be in there. So you can finish this at any time. I could go in and write, um, you know, PCDL tester. We're just gonna send it to ourselves. I'm writing you about the ad you posted. You know, da 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 da. Sign off. Can finish my three dots. There are, you know, the continuation of the email. We don't need to create a whole email for it. Um, and then we're going to put ad posting as the subject. I always try to put a subject in there. Oops, that says as. Ad posting. There we go. So I can hit that blue arrow and it's gonna send it. Okay, so it saves it as is. So we're gonna hit that blue arrow 
And once you hit that blue arrow, it's going to send it. So now if I hit those three lines again, I'm going to go back up to primary, which is the one we've been in, primary inbox, and there is the draft that we have now.